Hey guys, it's Oa, and today we're going to go over how you skin tracks in 3D Studio Max 2017 for the W3D engine. Uh, so, as you see, I've got this lovely Tesla tank in front of me um, that I've been working on. Today, I'm going to show you how you specifically skin the tracks uh, so that they look really nice and smooth in the W3D engine. I'm not going to go through any of the other setup of various other bones or anything like that. Um, I'm going to assume that your rig is all ready to go. I'm just going to be touching on the tracks. So let's take a look. So if I switch the uh, the mesh display back on using F4, uh, we can see that I've already made several subdivisions in the tracks. So each track, uh, each wheel, sorry, um, needs uh, five corresponding subdivisions on the track. This is so when the track, uh, when the wheel goes up and down due to the suspension, the track follows it and hugs the wheel in a really kind of close way. Uh, in the past, we've only been able to kind of assign uh, one bone uh, to one vert. So basically, every vert's been had like a hundred percent bone weighting. Um, but now that we can assign uh, vertices to two bones, we can do uh, smooth skinning with tracks. Previously, you'd only really see one subdivision. That's these uh, these lines here. So that's a subdivision there. That's a subdivision there. You'd see these lines kind of uh, one underneath every wheel. But now that we've kind of got this system, we can really uh, increase the number of subdivisions we have and hopefully make it uh, a lot more smooth. So uh, first thing before you get started, uh, something I like to do is animate your tracks sorry animate your animate your wheel p bones so these are the ones that uh, the engine looks for with the suspension so basically i animate every single wheel p bone to go down uh, like this this is so that whenever i um i'm coming to test it i can test the tracks in uh kind of in the editor viewport which is really really useful for finding out whether the uh, the tracks are actually hugging the uh, the mesh well enough or not, as you can see, I've got all of my kind of my, uh, wheel p bones down here. Uh, these uh, f bones here are all kind of fake wheel bones, but I'm not going to go into that uh, uh, during this uh, tutorial. Right, so let's get down to some skinning. I'm going to apply the skin modifier. The way I have my meshes, my uh, sorry, my vehicles set up usually is that I like to put all of the even um, numbered bones on the left hand side and all the odd numbered bones on the right hand side. So it usually goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Uh, that's so that whenever I'm grabbing all the bones for a, a single side of track, I can go right. Which bones do I want? And I go well. It's it's the even ones. So it's from four all the way up to I think 10 so that'd be one so I need to account for five wheels because we don't skin to the to this wheel here and we don't skin to that wheel there and we don't skin to any of these wheels either uh, so what we do first is we go uh, so it's, this one's number uh, it says 0 2 this one's 4 6 8 10 12 so it's 4 to 12 that we need so that's wheel p4 wheel p6 wheel p8 wheel p10 and wheel p12 there we go so and also uh i forgot to do it before add the origin bone because uh this top part of the track never moves and it never deforms so you want it to you want to stick it on a bone that uh never moves and never deforms so it's the origin bone uh it's a as good a bone as any to kind of get it uh, get it done so as you can see now it has tried to do its best to skin the tracks but this isn't very good uh, it's not really uh, having a good time there so let's have a look at what we can do about fixing this so first off we go down here uh, and we open the weight tool the weight tool is the best tool in the skinning uh, loadout it's super super useful we hit edit envelopes, we hit vertices, and now we can select these verts and check their weightings. So, 
first off, what we need to do is grab all of this and assign it to the origin because we know that these top ones aren't going to move. So that looks a bit better now. So next thing we need to do is, uh, well, we'll just move from left to right along the track and, uh, and skin it all up. So these will be all, um, these should be all uh, configured correctly. I think this, um, this one here, we could probably stick about uh, the scale of, what is it, wheel P4, 0 to 0 0.05, 0 0.5, just for a bit. Oh, hang on, set weight, 0 0.05, not scale weight. Right, so set weight to that. Yeah, there we go. So you've got nice, a much nicer curve there now as the uh, as the track goes up and down. It kind of stretches a little bit, which is... It's good for hugging the uh, that wheel. So let's let's fix some of this, shall we? So I'll just show you this in real time as it goes. So basically, what we need to do is we need to select this, and you'll see it's wheel P04. But we need to bind some of it to the next wheel in the in the chain. So we go for wheels wheel P6, and I think this one would be 0 0.1. No, so that's a bit too much. So as you can see, that's not hugging the wheel. So that's probably a 0 0.05 maybe even less than that 0.03 that looks a bit better oh, 0.02 let's just do that sometimes it depends on on how dense your wheel meshes are as to how far the subdivisions are spaced from each other and how much they will kind of hug the track so uh, let's move on to this next one so it's got its wheel piece selected Wheel P6 selected here. I'll bring this down here so you can kind of see. Wheel P6 selected here, and then wheel P4 selected here. And then what we do is we go, let's try it on one. I think that's about right, but maybe try a 0.09. There you go, that, that looks much better. I could probably even put another subdivision in this track if I wanted to. Uh, but uh, I'm going to leave it for now. So now that we've got our numbers, so this is a 0.0, this is 0.02, this is 0.09. We can now go on to this next one and we know that this is going to be the inverse of what we just did. So this will be 0 0.09 and then this will be 0 0.02. So there we go. So now we move on to the next one. So obviously the one below the wheel is always going to be one. So let's move on to this and we'll go we'll slide this along in the timeline. So now this one's down. As you can see, that's quite a nice smooth, um, smooth curve it's got now across the track. So that when you kind of move the tracks up and down uh, along the terrain in uh, in APB or Renegade or any other thing, uh, it's going to look really nice. Obviously, you won't see too much of this uh, happening to this degree because obviously you're never going to get suspension to. Um, to traverse this far away from where it sta uh, where it starts, but uh, it's it's kind of good to to test it at these extremes so that if there is ever a case, you you know you're covered. Right, so this is going to be pretty uh, pretty monotonous from here on. So okay, we're going to select wheel P8 because it's the next one in the link. We're going to set that to 0 0.02, and then we set this one to 0 0.09 set the weight and we're good so that is that track that uh, that is that uh, wheel done so now we'll move on to wheel p um oh here we go back to wheel p6 and we select this and then this has got to be 0 0.09 and then this has got to be 0 0.02 there we go so we move on to the next one now so that's wheel p10 this one is going to be 0 0.02 so we'll just knock this along there we go uh, and then this one is going to be 0 0.09 simple as uh, so then we go back up to 8 select this because it's bound to 10 so you basically just go onto here and you go well, it's going to be 9 and then again this is going to be 2 
uh, and then select the next one. So now we're on 12, 12 gets set to two, and then this one gets set to uh, nine. Lock it along, there you go, that's looking pretty good. And then, yeah, same again, here we are, go back to 10, 10, 12, and then this one's nine, and then this one here is two. So now we've just about got this fixed now. Uh, we just need to remember, set this up. So this was uh, over here. What do we set this to? 0 0.05. So, so let's pull this down. Yeah, that's a bit out of line. So if we set that weight to 0 0.05, I've selected the wrong bone. So it needs to be, uh, yeah, okay, zero, uh, wheel P, and then 0 0.05 on wheel P12. There we go. Um, I mean, this isn't going to move too much anyway, so it's, it's this is probably fine. Uh, if I pull this back up and we just take a look at these bones manually a sec. So if I just come out of this, like if you look, that's it's probably good enough. So, I mean, I could probably, could probably just tweak that a little bit further. So, go back into this, edit envelopes, vertices, we'll knock it up to one, and we'll see how that goes. So, we'll come back out of this quickly. So, this is the advantage of having an animation. It means, there you go, that's a bit better. Much better. Right. So, now, if we go back through the animation, we've got nice, smooth tracks all along which is going to really look really good in game so there are a couple of things to mention just before i sign off from this one because we're, we're pretty much done here now um is that in, under advanced parameters in the skin rollout you always want to set the bone effect limit to two because w3 does w3d doesn't support uh vertices affected by more than two bones and if you mistakenly export with with two or more uh well with with three or more it'll uh, it'll bug out and give you a load of errors so make sure you do that and also uh hit this button remove zero weights because it will remove anything uh from the mesh that's been left over from your skinning journey as kind of like a, a zero weight so it'll just make sure that's all cleaned up so now that should be good to go so uh yeah, that's how you rig tracks in W3D for the new age of uh, of smoothness and uh, and awesome stuff that uh, that you'll be seeing in in AR and uh, well in APB soon with this Tesla tank. So yeah, cheers for uh, cheers for joining and uh, hope you uh, you get something out of this. Cheers.